Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel today. As you can see, it's snowing, perfect time to test out the wood stove and do a walkthrough of a camp. Because it's freezing, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on the exterior on this one. I'll touch on some things that have been added, upgrades to this one that maybe you haven't seen on another camp. But other than that, we're gonna stick to the interior. So anyways, we'll go ahead and get started. Yeah. So probably the main things that were upgraded on this one that would be of interest to you guys would be he added extra solar panels. Um, it does have the pull-out camp shaft. It does have the Starlink antenna mount for his internet. A little bit different on the back and you'll see why when I go inside and show you the layout there. And then he also had us do lithium batteries okay and then a variety of different electronics he provided his own inverter um, converter and then his solar controllers as well so kind of unique in in the electronic department and i'll show you some of the different electronics that he added inside as well Upgraded tires, heated tanks. But well, let's get to the main stuff, the interior. So, actually, now that I'm walking in here, I failed to grab his paperwork so I could tell you what his colors are. But I will be sure to put that in the description for you guys. So, as always, we got our double closet there. And you can see there, we do have a light in here. And it's on a switch, but he does have um, lighted cabinets as well. Our microwave, convectional oven. This is a three-way fridge on this one, so um, it will run off of his batteries which is kind of nice. Not the most efficient running it that way, but it does give you some options. You got your double pantry, pull out pantries. Propane gas light, some storage above, his stereo. And then tons of monitors, and these are all Bluetooth to where you can get readouts on your phone of everything that your batteries are doing, your solar's doing. Um, yeah, if you're into that kind of stuff, um, a lot of it is duplicated by monitors that we already have in this. Um, but still, like I say, if you're into that kind of stuff, want to know every little detail of what's going on then it's great so um your other monitor that does all your tank monitoring your batteries and then you have your switches for your lighted cabinets and then this one does have the heated tanks on it so there's heating elements on your holding tanks that'll keep them from freezing water heater switch water pump switch single sink big deep stainless steel sink storage below little cabinet this is actually so he can access his power cord from inside not sure what he's doing with that um, but where these are all custom you might as well get it the way you want now this is where it gets a little unique we've got our recliners but then we have split beds now these panels that are laying here they actually are stowed away um, when you're not using them or you can pull them out, slide them beds together and make one big bed. Uh, kind of cool that way. I'll actually pull one of these out so I can show you. The bed set up. These do have your pull out drawers. So you got big, four big drawers. 
underneath there, your USB ports on both sides, charge your phones, and then overhead storage. He's got these cool bear engraved doors up top, and then he'll have his monitor for his Starlink um, up in there to where he'll have internet, things like that. His 12 volt TV. And of course, the wood stove is a must. Lots of drawer space in this one. There's lots of drawers, both under the bed and on the cabinets. Yeah, space underneath. Cooktop, overhead storage. traditional layout in here other than he didn't do the glass door or the curtain he did this accordion style which is kind of nice makes it a lot more roomy um, seems to hold up really good too so um, it's a new product that we're trying in some of these and if it's something that you're interested let us know but yeah, anyways, what do you guys think of this layout? Kind of cool. So I did, when I posted this the other day, I did have a lot of comments about doing bunks up above, and I do have a couple more camps coming up that are similar layouts to this, maybe a little bigger camp, but I'll be sure to keep you posted on them. So anyways, as always, thanks for watching.